This video is the product of the Functional Cranial Release Research Institute. For difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, visit functionalcranialrelease.com. Okay. So metabolic capacity, just for the sake of this coming out a little bit darker, this is a graph, and this is brain stimulation here. And let's say that you wanted to create a stimulus to your brain because see what your brain needs is three important things to be healthy. It needs glucose, oxygen, and it needs stimulation. You know that whole, there's a Chinese proverb that says that the unused gate gets the rest. Well, that happens with your joints and it applies to your brain, but the problem is with your brain the unused gate actually dies. So your, your brain tissue is, is such that if, if it's not used, you literally totally lose it. It just doesn't go dormant, and then you can go in and use it later. Um, so like I told you before, you know, our brain is degenerating. Everybody's suffering from this. And at certain rates, it's happening quicker with us if we've got a lot of inflammation in our body, if we're not leading a healthy life, if we're fighting disease, if we have a lot of stress. Okay? So with regards to functional neurology, we're looking at stimulation as being a very primary area that we can focus to help people recover. Because when we start to have certain disease patterns, there are certain areas of our brain that can compensate for others that aren't working as well. So we can come in and stimulate it, and it's kind of like somebody's um, skiing down a hill. You know, you have fresh powder, and you ski down there and you create like this, this, this groove. And the more you go down that same pathway, the deeper it gets, the easier it is to follow that same route. And that's what neuroplasticity means. And somebody that's skilled within functional neurology, what they can do is they can take you and say, well, your, your, your digestion's not working, or this area of your brain's not working. And with you in particular, your cerebellum, you know, and with your balance system and the way that your eyes are operating, you know, that's all kind of a little bit, you know, a, mitch, a, a sensory mismatch for you. And so that's going to affect your autonomic nervous system, which is going to affect your digestion. And so what we're able to do is look and see, okay, well, where do these nerves actually go and what else can we fire to support that? Just like the, body need, the, the brain needs glucose and oxygen, it needs this stimulation. And by stimulating it, it's going to wake it up and it's going to allow it to function better. Now, metabolic capacity is something that plays a huge role in with our ability to um, get a, a benefit for somebody like yourself because your story was that hey you know I'm light sensitive. Well you had also said that you went on a, um, a oh. detox and you had some negative reactions yeah. to that so the metabolic capacity might play a role in that as well. Okay. So if we look at brain <laughs> stimulation so we want to stimulate but what we have is we have a metabolic capacity which means that there's only so much that we can drive your brain to function. If we do it too much, it has a negative effect on the brain. Okay? And so that's what the metabolic capacity And is. some people have a high metabolic capacity, which means that you have more space to, to operate. So you can do more stimulation. When somebody has a low metabolic capacity, you have less capacity to kind of operate in, which means that you have to do lighter stimulation, but you do it more often. You see? And so this down here is a threshold so if you don't stimulate enough to get into this zone you're not going to get any effect at all gotcha. but you don't want to go over this metabolic capacity because then you're gonna you're actually gonna create cell death if you do too much you know, and so we're gonna talk a little bit more about how you can kind of manage that a little bit later this week because you're gonna be coming in for the whole week and we're gonna be doing functional cranial release with you but what the, one of the things that I found that really helped with a lot of my patients is that we use glutathione. So glutathione is the body's master antioxidant and the brain's man's master antioxidant. So it buffers against stress. So by supplying this glutathione, and we're going to do it in a nebulization with you this week, it's going to raise this, this ceiling for you. In fact, a lot of folks that actually do the nebulization immediately feel better. And so we're going to be doing it each day that you come in because we're going to get a little bit of lift with this metabolic capacity. Mm -hmm. So your brain's not going to be quite as fragile. 
And that way we can come on on the, on, the, on the flip side of that and we can drive function a little bit better. And your brain will have better recovery. Sounds good. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Dr. John. Thanks for joining me. If you or a loved one suffers from difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, send them to functionalcranialrelease.com. You can contact me by phone or email me at askdrjl at gmail.com. And remember, if healing is possible, consider it to be within your reach. Bye for now. Functionalcranialrelease.com